What's really holding you back? What are you afraid of? Take some action. Get started now. 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 Yeah, that's definitely impactful because it's specific to you. It's not something generic that they can. Oh, okay, this is what I say about all of them. This person was a hard right. worker, very coachable. Right. right. That's okay. But that that's like I say, everybody does it. You want to really separate yeah. yourself. Get that in there. And then if another thing, get videos. Get videos <clears throat> from from um your higher ups I, I i try to get testimonials and videos from the c-suite vp level my manager my manager was vp but you know whatever my manager yeah. vp whatever and then a person that you mentored mm. and so it particularly my role right i mean maybe if you're not but i think it still be helpful even if you're in the contributor to see that you know, yeah, because I was going to say, if you're a good individual contributor, you still have. You're going to mention. You're going to mentor. Yeah, people. it's na- it's going to be good, natural. That is a good thing. Mm-hmm. You could ask somebody to ask them, Tell me if it's been. Tell me about people you've mentored and helped along the way. Yeah. Because if they they're good, they're going to naturally do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it shows natural leadership. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you're given a lot of great <laughs> advice for experienced SDR, experienced AE, someone who's mm-hmm. been in a sales role. Mm-hmm. What about those who have not? So what? Okay. How could an, an inexperienced SDR stand out? Yeah. 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 Have, okay. Add those same elements. Yeah, there's some, there's some similar things. Okay. So you won't have the sales stuff. Um, so definitely, I would say in this case, get your little ducats together. Hi, try, try, try. Hire somebody to do your resume. Yeah. Because you don't have the sales experience. So they got they've got to extrapolate in a really good resume writer. And the one I have, the two people I've hired for the last 15 years or so, these two mm-hmm. people are really good. They can extrapolate out of a shoe shine and make him seem like he's gonna be the greatest greatest AE candidate, right? <laughs> you <know? laughs> so you want somebody who has that ability to find your transferable skills, right? <clears throat> so so I would say to them, hire somebody to write your resume and your LinkedIn. Um, still do the, the the thing you apply and say, hey, let's apply for the SDR role. Um, what just highlight three things, reasons why I make an immediate impact. You know, I worked as a server at Applebee's and my whole process of engaging the the customer uh that's sitting there um getting their attention um asking asking them questions about you know their likes and dislikes when it comes to eating i think i have trend and i'm i'm reaching here right but these types of skills can can really make an impact uh in your organization uh, of me having done this for you know 50,000 customers in the last 2 years i'm just just saying yeah. So you 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 have that's why I say it's good to have that resume writer to extrapolate it, help you extrapolate it. Mm-hmm. But um, you that's one thing. Still still hire somebody to your resume and LinkedIn. Still do the the little email apply and send the email. Um, I would take it a step further. And since the objective is going to be is going to be you don't have any experience, you know, right. My objection, funny, is he got too much experience. How about that? That's a new objection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. It's like, it is, so, yeah. Oh, 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 you, and so I, I, I know how to handle it pretty damn, pretty good, pretty well now. So what I do, I have a process. So what, so what you do, if you, the opposite, and both are challenging. So if you're, if you have not enough experience, say, hey, great, make a video. Say, hey, if you were hiring, hi, Della, it's me, Calvin, applied for the SDI position. Um, you know, I'm going to say up front, you know, talk about your benefits, but I'm going to say up front, you know, some, something that you might be looking at is say, Hey, Kelvin doesn't have any experience in SDR. And I would, I would say that too, but here, here's, I'm going to give you an example how I, I want to, I would love to give you an example of how I would go through a process of cold outreach, phone, email, voice. If you're new, learn the terms, learn the terminology. That's going to get you in. So learn the terms. You know, course careers will get you up to speed with that. Learn the terminology. Learn about prospect. Learn about outbound. Learn about cadences. Learn about code email. Learn about subject lines. Learn that stuff. You can learn that stuff anywhere. Three or four hours, probably. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh anywhere. yeah. Yeah. YouTube. LinkedIn. I'd say go to YouTube. Yeah. yeah. If you feel like whatever your preferred channel method mode, mode, mode of learning, learn that and then actually demonstrate it. Mm-hmm. Demonstrate it. Record yourself. With, with with the friend, okay, or something. Then next level, eat cold email, call call, put that person through a sequence. 
But after you've practiced, hire, hire somebody like Della to coach you for 30 minutes to an hour, right? None of you are out of coaching, but I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> but, but hire someone to coach you through it, right? Hire, yeah. pay, pay, you know, $25, $50, $100, or whatever, especially if you get an interview. You get an interview, put that money up. It's worth it. Put that money up and, and let them coach you through the process so you can hack all that. That's a good thing. H hire somebody to, here's the hacks. Hire somebody to write your resume. Hire one of these coaches on LinkedIn out there that that you can charge for half an hour to, to an hour, some even 15 minutes, 15 minutes to an hour, and hire them to walk you through it, help you build out a cadence and practice it. You, you, you'll, you'll be very competitive if you do that. Oh, very yeah, absolutely. And even if you, you're, so would you say that mm -hmm. doing those methods would even make you stand out in comparison to someone who is already experienced, but who's not doing those methods? Yeah. Yeah, it would. I mean, that person now, if they were experienced and they just kind of gave me mediocre output that, you know, it's like, it's good, but it's not. And the person that was new, they struggled, but they had some shining moments. I think I might go with that, possibly that, that person. So let, let, you know, let that sink in. You, you, you took the effort to put all this together. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And it shows how, how much you yeah. want it. Right. Right. Shows yeah. how much you want it. There you go. Oh right. yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. <clears throat> That's definitely good. Um, <clears throat> so we talked about shining out blogs. Now, mm -hmm. do you think I've, I've heard that in other realms like cybersecurity, other realms that you should do mm -hmm. a blog to help you stand mm -hmm. out in mm -hmm. sales is a blog. Is that something that you think can also help stand out? I do. And I'll be honest, I, I'll be honest, I don't have it myself, but it's something I want to make a bigger push. And I've been saying for the last week, but I'm, I'm going to make a bigger push in content production. Uh, I, I mean, I do content, but it's like videos here, it's little things here. It's not it's not like an organized blog or organized site. But yes, I think it would definitely help. Um, I think it would help the inexperienced person, an inexperienced person or an experienced, you know, what's an inexperienced person going to say about? But no, take your journey. Hey, you see it on YouTube all the time. Hey, it's me. I'm one. <laughs> I'm Tom. Yeah. Well, oh, yes, you are one. <laughs> but you know, but you are one. But you're 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 further down the line now, okay? And, yeah. and so, but but you seem literally like, hey, it's my first day as an SDR. So cool. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, I'm making fun of it, but that's it good. Works. Yeah, it, it's it is. good. And and you truly document what you're doing, right? And if you're experienced, yeah. experienced, right? document what the accomplished in, in case studies and stuff like that things that you've done yes so i think i blog a, a youtube channel linkedin posts you know yeah. i i think all of that is you know pick, probably pick one to start so you won't get overwhelmed right right and but but yeah all of that i think it's very i think it's i here's what i think in the next three years it's already happening now i see it already in the next three years in any position particularly particularly sales your LinkedIn has to be on point. Um, you, you you need to have social proof of what you've done and your career marketing materials, resume, all that needs to be like world class just to compete, mm -hmm. just to compete. Before it was like that would get you the job. Now, this just to get the interview. Somebody, I had, it was a decision maker that said, if you don't, I don't know how you quantify this, but he said, if you don't, approach the hiring manager after you apply, you're not, I promise you're not in the top 10% of candidates. Yeah. That's wow. what we're getting now. And that, I think not wow. just for sales, I think that's for anything. across the board. Across yeah. The board. I've heard that even in like some IT roles where you're thinking mm -hmm. like, you don't have to do, you know, it's going to be based off of just your technical ability. I've heard mm -hmm. so many coaches say, no, you need to have a blog. You need to have this. You need to have that. I'm like, yeah. whoa, this is, everything it. is changing. I, I um, <laughs> I left the job. Well, job force, but I joined the military in like 2014 and I was What's away from like LinkedIn, the Navy. You were in the Navy? I'm Marine. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I, I didn't know you were in the Navy. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What's up, man? Okay. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. So I, I left the like job force, so to speak, or you know how it is when you're in the military, like you don't, mm -hmm. you don't need a resume. You're doing, <laughs> you know, everything you do is totally different. And I, yeah came out and I was just like, whoa, my head was like spinning, learning about, mm -hmm. like I had a LinkedIn, but I maybe had like five connection. I never got on it. 
-hmm. And now from like joining and really like doing course careers, I was just like, whoa, I feel like I left and went to a time vacuum and then yeah. came out and it's like a totally different world. But yeah, you right. definitely have to compete on all fronts now just to get yeah. some attention and just to get eyes on your resume. So, yeah. And then I think one thing that um, also gets underlooked is internal candidates. That job posting that mm -hmm. you see, there's also people mm -hmm. inside of the organization that are That's applying. True. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I have seen that once. Yeah. It's true. You've got internal competition. So somebody that knows the culture and everything, you got to really stand out as a candidate, right? You know, um, I, I tell you one thing, I, and, you know, if you're going to physical interviews, but you can do this digitally too. Um, I have done this and this might be, you have to kind of read the room this, but what I, I did one time, I actually got a job. Uh, and one time I didn't get a job, <laughs> I'll tell you about what I did. And I, but they tell me who my people were, right? That's another thing too. This is, this is not, Hey, this is not you begging for a job. This is you seeing if you can help an organization and vice versa. Right? So this one company I brought in, I brought in, uh, maybe you heard the book, the ultimate sales machine by Chet Holmes. Oh, I um, have not. Yeah, Sounds check it out. Like it's a good book. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's not a lot of digital focus, but it's it, that may be the strength of it actually. So mm -hmm. the ultimate sales machine. I came in. There was the CEO, the CEO, and a manager, and I came and said, "Hi, I'm Kelvin. Nice to meet you." And I handed them the, each a book. Oh and that's wow! How I started. It's a pattern interrupt. Yes. Wow. They hired me. In fact, now they hired me. They hired me for a more senior position than what I applied for. Wow. That's said, phenomenal. He, I let that sink in. So I didn't know this. He came in. And so he said, um, God was really gruff. The CEO he says, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he says, um, yeah, yeah. I, this position. Yeah. He said, um, I got another position for you. He mm. said, essentially what I want to do is pay you to think. And he, mm. and he started to tell me what the new <laughs> position was. And so I gave him those three books. Right. And out of the situation, I gave three books. <laughs> Bizarre. And, and I, I tell this story maybe to help people because sometimes stuff just not just it's not you're not it's not y'all are not meant to be together right yeah so so it's like i went to this one company i did the same thing and i say hey it works and so i went in and i gave a a book i think to whoever came out maybe it was a manager and i saw three people come out and they're looking at the book and they look and they're just doing this looking back and forth and they canceled the interview Wow. So, yeah. So, so I say read the room, <laughs> but but, <laughs> yeah. I, but but I think but I, but my point of bringing this up is like probably probably scared some people. The reason I brought this up though is that I I I stood out each yeah. time, and the first time it got to the point. Not only did I get the job, I got a more senior and a higher paying position because yeah. of those types of things. The other thing, it wasn't a match. They they no. they just they that was they that type of culture was was too much for them. So they, you know, keep that in mind. You know, keep your chin up. You know, everybody isn't isn't your cup of tea and you're not their cup of tea. Yeah, no, that's perfect advice. Thank you so much. That was yeah. so valuable and phenomenal. <laughs> and I think I think a way to do mm -hmm. the book giving um mm -hmm. in a digital world is you can gift an audiobook. Yeah, yeah. That's I've done that not for our job, I've done for a uh, for a client, but yeah, you can do that. You can you can gift an audio book. So if you're if you're we're all digital now, we're probably not seeing as many face to face people. Gift them a book that you and, and put a blurb say, hey, I noticed in your annual report that you're really focusing on 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 getting higher dollar value clients, right? This book talks about this mm. issue. Chap chapter one is really great about it. I look forward to our interview. Man, if you do that, Phenomenal. yeah, you they're gonna you they're gonna stand out. <laughs> you <laughs> you, you might it. get a, you definitely you definitely gonna get a, you definitely gonna stand out. That's for sure. Oh yeah, oh yes, yeah. so, and you yeah. can even sorry, I'm like ideas are like mm. flushing in my head. Like sure. even if it is electronic, you can still mm -hmm. send it to the office for that person if they go in office. Yeah, yeah. you can. So yeah. as someone who's been in the field for years, mm -hmm. your experience, you know what to look for. What mm -hmm. did you think about course careers? I think you're crazy if you're struggling to find SDR work or you're new, you're crazy not to go of course careers. Crazy oh. with a capital C. Yeah, that's wow. Yes, that's phenomenal. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Yeah. All right, yeah. man. Thank you so much. That was you're you welcome. dropped so many good gems. Man, that was good. All right. 
that was part three. That's the end of that interview series. What I want you guys to do is either check out the full video tomorrow or catch up on one or two if you haven't seen them. But you already know what I'm gonna say. Take action. Come on, say it with me. Take action. This could be you. You can live the life that you want to live. Your family live the life that they want to live and that they deserve to live. So write down a plan of action and get to it. Get the work done. Don't just get motivated and get all the feel goods and get the ideas going and flowing. Make sure you're taking action. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow with the full video. Take care. You're smarter, stronger, and much more powerful than you give yourself credit for.